right. Let's play this. I think this is overall looking a lot better. It's really coming together. Just some little technical things, um, some timing issues here and there, but it's it's good. Some body mechanic stuff. It's cool though. I like it. Yeah, definitely with the camera coming in, reframing. That's all cool. Um, let's see. I wonder. I like how close the dragon get gets to the baby, but then once we're here, it's very edgy. Um, my concern is that if we, my instinct would be to pan over to give, you know, so the head would be around here, but that would really cut off the baby. But at the same time, we've seen it already. I think that should be okay. There's a bit more room and then you can walk into that new framing and you still end up here. That's all cool. And the end framing is cool too. I like that. That'd be my only, my only camera uh, comment, I would say. Just looking at, at that. It's been a while, sorry. Um, gotten really busy. So if I had any other comments, I remember uh, you're saying something about that you're going to... I added a bit of rotation to the camera to reframe the parent dragon based on the last feedback. I will add your take on the camera later. Um, I have to admit, I don't quite remember what that was. <laughs> horrible, horrible, on the record, horrible. All right, in terms of animation, this entrance feels fast uh, in terms of just flight mechanics and body mechanics and weight. There's something about it. There are a couple things. A, you would have to, he gets very flat here. So uh, I'm not sure if there's enough time. Ideally, I would say, slow this section down 15 frames see if that's enough it might just be enough it just needs to be a tad slower the other thing is that there's not a lot of post changes or uh you know, in terms of head legs and everything i know it's it's gliding down but it has a slight feel of a 2d card being translated in after effects so you could do something where it actually comes in this way, where the screen right wing is lower so that you have a change from this angle to this angle. So oh, here, is, he also feels a bit too flat. Uh, so I would angle the dragon a bit more like this and having that change from here so that this side goes up uh, might be a cool visual contrast, taking away that 2D card element. Then it feels a bit weirdly on a path, yet crabbing, where there's a uh, there's a change in orientation in a very flat way there. To me, it feels like you want to be tilted more, lead with the head a bit more into that curvature. And you do the wings. Looks like you want to do the wing almost later. Comes in. I think you could do the orientation this way. I will bring in the legs back a bit more tucked in. Um, maybe like a slight curvature in that tail. I mean, it, it is dragging, falling. It just feels a bit straight. Got a more interesting shape to it. And then by now, I would rotate over like i said for that turn lead with the head orientation so that the neck kind of curves in there then bring the legs into what you have now so they go from flat to back dragging to kind of lower so there's again a bit more of a visual change but having that turn and leading with the head and kind of having that that glide into that turn is going to help and then potentially delay i know there's not much time but I would delay that flap by five, six frames. And you might have to make this frame, just this flap faster anyway, for like steal frames out of this flap and add it, if that makes sense, right? You wanna add the this flap a bit later. We're just gonna compress the time of this one, but I think it's gonna be okay because you want that to be a bit faster to really sell the idea that it's breaking. 
which also means you could make this guy a bit faster, this flap. And I would I would absolutely go further with the flap, close it a bit more. So it's a really strong momentum stopper for it. Just make sure that also from the top view is really following a nice path and in a legal way. And it's not doing kind of some weird crabbing sideways translate. Just something feels funky through here. And you're probably by now, I would be in this position. Whereas through here, I would still be curved this way. So this side would be higher. So the whole body would be tilted over. Just kind of more into a, a, a turn and lean into this. And just slowing that beginning down just a bit fast. Especially through here. It comes in and it feels almost like there's a little drop here. Root right there. Bit of a speed up and we have a drop. <laughs> And then same thing here, right, right there. Through this section, there is a speed up as well. It's a bit slow and speed up. So make sure that like in your graph, you don't have a sudden like that in your translate where that would be your speed up there. So just through here, it's a bit too fast. Zoop right there. And then as you continue, you want to start uh, offsetting. You want to avoid uh, shapes like this, when the wing comes up, you can delay that membrane a bit more. So it's not just that very thin line. Especially on here, something like this too. So you want offsets, even if, if with the overall uh, change of that angle, you still want to offset one of the wings and you have some membrane showing up here for the wind resistance, just to get some more interesting shapes in there. And then overall, just offset the wings asymmetry I mean, yeah, you can easily get in there um, drag that tail a bit more for that section that's also kind of feels a bit stiff you can always hide that tail till the very end if you want I don't know I'm, I'm not a fan of tails I'm really bad at it <laughs> so I understand your pain watch out that right there I think that hop up with the head is a bit fast might potentially be also a bit too high. It's almost like you're starting to go high, but then it goes right down versus that would be a bigger jump. So it might be a combination of maybe not going as high, but I wouldn't bring up the head so high because then here it's a sudden change and drop. But that in real time, and it's not by much, just a little adjustment. It's just a bit fast. I'm just looking at the scale and weight of it. Just that. That curvature is just a bit fast. So if you just dampen that a little bit, we'll give it a bit more weight. And then on st on stuff like this, when the head goes down and has that nice, you know, all that curvature stuff, which is all cool, you can have that head slightly tilted, you know, depending on that, on that angle. And then as you come in here, it could be straight out like this. But then as you go into something like this, you could have a sideways tilt again, just to kind of engage all axes of that head. So it's not all one one straight axis and always horizontal, so you can make that a bit more complex. This is a bit, it's all a bit twin, then it gets a bit muddy in the silhouette there. I like your offsets and poses there. That's all cool here too. You could potentially offset this by one more frame. Uh, I will bring in those toes. Boom, so that on this frame by now-ish, that would be spread. So there's a bit more spreading of toes. As you go on here, you bring them back, that's good. But on this, I will bring those toes already a bit more in. Same thing here, those the hands here, they go up, up, and then down. So it's a bit of a one frame direction change there. There's anything you can do, again, by not going as high, you just want to flatten that a bit more so it gets a bit more of an arc versus just a very flat um, uh, linear, sorry, like an angle there. Then as you get in here, you're starting to move this way with that paw and then it goes straight down. So make sure it continues forward. And through here, I would flatten that angle there for compression stays a bit too long in this shape. Uh, same thing, bring in toes, fingers closed, 
so that through all of this they can spread. Also seems a bit, even though this guy is catching up a bit, just watch out if that's a top view head, legs and fingers, that when it slides forward, it could have a little bit of an outward slide so that this last pose is a bit different. Because to me, you want to be stabilized. So it'd be almost be in a triangle position for a more a stronger visual thing of I'm stabilized and strong versus getting closer. Okay, hold on, but you do have a step here. So hold on, let me take that back. Yeah, it was you have that here, which is cool. Nah, then I would say leave it. Yeah, I'll take it back. Forget everything I just said. Because I like also that you have a certain distance and then you get closer for that contrast. And then you do have this for the triangle, which is cool. So forget everything I said. <laughs> leave. Leave everything you have. Just do the compression on the ankles. Same thing here on that step. Bringing in toes together and spreading out the toes. And you can be pretty lazy with the toes and then they flap open. Almost like a lion or bigger cat. They have a very lazy paw. And then they flip over just at the very end. It's could be neat. Not that this is a cat, but you know, could be something to incorporate. So it's not so also, let's look at the pose. It's so straight. It's giving a bit more visual interest by having that curve and then that change. And gives you a little bit of a visual snappiness, which could add to the... But as you do this on all those steps, but especially this one, this leg feels very independent. I don't see a rotation in the Y or a rotation over in the chest for some balance. And on that, on that plant, a bit of an impact and a little elbow jiggle bit of an impact in the neck. So that, that type of detail you want to start putting in there. Boom, boom. So he comes in and then I think you can have a little bit of curvature like that where the head is a bit lower to then do from a you know curve like this to a straight into what you have now. Not, you know, you don't want to mimic this too much, but Right now, the head is forward and just opens the jaw a bit. This, this could almost be like he's coughing. <laughs> Versus coming up and then into curve into a into a straight into this. A little bit, a bit more power in this. Because the dragon is, you know, story-wise, kind of chasing away whoever did this. So a bit more energy in there. And then... Again, as you move over, and all the weight is going to be on this leg, you would definitely want rotation up. Imagine that's like a hip, or, you know, clavicle, whatever structure there is. You want a bit of a change there. Same thing on all of those steps. See, this is cool right here. Right there, that feels cool. In here, but then this feels weirdly dead. So it's kind of, again, I, don't, I know this is not a cat, but... It would be neat if, as you do this step to feel more. Imagine there was a scapula or something, but some change pushing up to feel that that weight on this with the slight rotation of the chest. Be neat. I really like your your uh, tweak into the timing. It's cool that it's hold fast, fast. I think that's great. Uh, watch out. Just watching this here, you get a bit of a. What's going on here with the? toes that's a bit fast here flip like here i wouldn't do it just because it's a bit more delicate and it's a bit more sensitive i think this one works better but it's the same idea you want to put the toes together and then spread on compression here so it kind of mimics a squash a little bit in that like that little hesitation lift on here uh same thing here you still don't want those fully splayed out toes here you want rotation curl as much as you can and bring them in together closer that's all cool and even here you could i would leave those wings maybe around here in terms of closing you can still rotate them down a bit and get into a, a less pointy shape gives it a bit of a less busy 
silhouettes. Uh, but mainly because I wouldn't be so closed here. So that when you get to this, you can close more. It's almost like it's a bit more relaxed. And the closer the dragon gets, the tense, the more tense it gets and the more concerned. And maybe that can be a visual, you know, add-on through the wings tensing up and getting closer. So they're not just this dead wood. Here it's feel kind of dead. So you want to do a bit more. So I would probably tense up through here. And then as you go through here, relax a bit more, just a bit. Same thing here. That step on this feels really dead in here. So I know I need to retain the contact here, but just watch out for body mechanics. Same thing here. You want to do a little bit of a lift, even if it's just a little foot roll uh, with a slight, you know, adjust in the hips here. So it's not just a leg slide forward with nothing in here. Subtle, but still, I think you want to feel the, the mechanics there. That's cool. It's a little bit of a fast dip in the nose there. Beep. Not sure if that's bad. I think it adds to the going forward. I think maybe it's just two frames delay when the lowest point by two frames. I don't see super picky. There's just an ever so slight feel of a fast dip. It's almost like you could keep the speed, but then almost go a bit lower. Like it goes down and stays versus down and a bit lower into this. Being picky mode here. Picky, picky. I feel like you could through here-ish open the jaw a bit. So it relaxes a bit and it's almost like a it would make almost a sound of, oh, like, I'm sorry, or it's just some some emoting. And then it would still be open. And then as you go back, but you open it here because of the shock. I see that here. I know, it still feels like you want to open it through here a little bit, so it's not this constant shut thing. And then as you do this, through here, you can close it. Careful when to move through here. It feels like the head is translating only. Giving this a bit of an IK feel. Uh, make sure there's always a bit of a rotation in there. This feels a bit too translating. And I feel like there could be one more pause. Right through there when it turns and opens the mouth, I would just pause it a bit more. Although I will clear that gap there. It's just not such a tangent right there. It's almost like you want to be this far away for a nice negative space through there. Um, after this, I just feel like you want to go, <gasps> ah, that idea versus head goes up, moves, 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 yell. So it feels like you want to have a little bit of that one. And if it's just a couple of frames, just a little bit of a more pronounced slowdown, realizing what's going on. And then this versus, uh, so this instead of just going up, I would push that into a, a bit more of an arc out into, into that. And then if there's any way you have a controller here and bring that down. So you have a bit more of a curvature into this versus that. That makes sense. Because you have that till the very end. It'll be nice to get a, you could potentially even lower the hips a bit more, maybe can and then get a bit of a I was looking at, a, at a, a cleaner shape like this this just this especially feels a bit uh broken there you can kind of bring that thing down but also head wise right at the end through here it feels like there's a very big pivot off of that side where it's almost pivoting in place that is my alarm <laughs> even though I got up earlier than 7 a.m um so that the pivot is, imagine the head is here, horns, so we're top view. It feels like it's pivoting off here. And it feels like as you do a rotation like that, you want at the same time have it translate over. It just feels really isolated and broken off. I don't quite feel like it's like a, not that it has to be like a snaky move, but something where there's a slight rotation as well with the translate that takes the, uh, a translate with the rotation that takes the neck with it and a little bit of the chest. It just feels cut, cut, pivot off here. 
And then as you go, not sure how much room you have to move the body forward. I don't want to overextend this leg. By looking at here to here, it's mostly just head up. And what we need to get a bit more of a forward thing so that this leg is a bit more leaning forward. So there's a bit more forward drive in this. But again, I'm not sure if it will overextend. So maybe a foot roll can help it. Or, or on this step, you just go further forward. Potentially. Baby's pretty good. I think there's the last bop there. Boom. Boop. Right there. That last one up feels a bit weird. I would take that one out. That last up there. And then on your way up, your breakdown could be uh, either the head towards us or rolled away from us. But I would have a slight side rotation. Uh, so from the front view, it's not just up, but it's a bit of a rah, like that with a slight, you know, head side tilt. Give this a bit more complexity. I'm not sure if you want that slow roll at the end, this one, uh, as much. I would reduce it a little bit. I like seeing a change in the horns there. Um, but I would make it just a bit less, but sharper. The thing that I'm, like, the main thing that I feel at the end is softness. And if that thing is going, ah, you want to have a high frequency jitter. If this was muscle sim, it would, you know, it would jiggle the skin there. I can really, it's it's a painful, she's in pain. So that's why a forward move, high frequency jitter, just a bit more tension in there, and then a little bit of a jiggle in here. It's all for polish, but I would, personally, I would give this a feel of, of pain and tension. Uh, and right now, it's mostly, I'm getting from A to B into a pose with a slight rotation. It still it seems a bit off. But I know you're still, you know, working on this. I know, I know. This is just for, Final notes, um, careful with too complex of a shape there. That'll tail up and down is a bit funky. I would just keep this fairly simple towards the end. But that's about it, lots of picky notes. I'll leave it at that. Don't wanna harp on for too long. It's already a long critique. Uh, but again, it's coming together really, really nicely. I think out of everything, this beginning needs the most work because of that 2D card and that fast, fast shape there. It'll speed up there for sure. And then overall mechanics of when you take steps that the body's a bit more involved. But everything is, is really falling into place. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.